Hey everybody, it's Robert again. I want to say thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't been to my channel before, I talk about this guy a lot, but I do talk about other things. So please check out all my videos. And if you like my channel, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more other videos. As always, I do appreciate all the positive comments and please comment below with your feedback. With these cool um, SCS or Stealth Custom Series Ray 10 wheels, there was issues as far as rubbing and it was because of the more negative offset and having a taller tire. The tire again is a BFG KO2 265 75 16. The wheels are 16 by 8 negative 12 offset and because of that negative offset even though it looks pretty cool with the poke it'll give a larger sweep as far as rubbing. In part one I went ahead and took care of taking out some of the plastic fenders that was rubbing on it and I did see some areas that were causing some rub still that was on the fender liner. I couldn't find my heat gun and that's why I'm back with part two because I found my heat gun. So the things that you need is your trusty heat gun, some kind of stick or piece of wood or crowbar or something so you can, re re uh, so you can move everything. I pick wood because that way when it gets hot with the heat gun or something, it doesn't conduct. But you can use anything as long as it doesn't pierce. And um, some people will suggest using a spray bottle of water to help cool the plastic once it's molded to a certain way. I also will use that too. Mine's going to actually have alcohol. I use it for detailing. So you can use it with or without alcohol. So let's go ahead and proceed. This will be a quick video. All right. So if you look closer here, when it's turning, what I noticed when I indicated in my last video, you can see this darker spot right here. So this was dirty, you know, this is dirty plastic and you can see how dirty everything is. And what's cool is that when it hits, or what's a great indicator is when it rubs, it actually cleans off. So that part right here is nice and clean. So what I need to do is I'm gonna massage this guy to kind of have a better uh, clearance. Unfortunately right here, I believe there's a pinch weld behind this. So what some people will do, if you're getting extensive rubbing, you're gonna have to remove this fender liner and bang it out the way or trim it uh, with a saw or something. But I'm not gonna go that far because I don't think there's that serious of a rub issue. I'm not running a 285 tire. If I was running a 285 tire, especially with a stock height, it definitely is gonna be an issue. This trusty old heat gun I got from Harbor Freight. And like I said, um, you just have to have an extension cord. Now you have to start practicing as far as how much heat to put on there and how much, how long you should put in there. A lot of times people, I'm going to put this to high because I'm used to it. A lot of times people, they don't realize how fast these heat guns work. It's not like a hair dryer, guys. A hair dryer, you can't burn off your hair uh, with a hair dryer, but you can burn off your hair and your skin and everything else with a heat gun. I mean, this actually removes paint with enough heat. So side with the caution, if you're not really familiar with it, go light, go easy on it, and then work your way from there. Usually when I recommend the trim, I'll turn the steering, I'll turn the wheel here to have more room. But since I am just using the heat gun, I wanna use my tire's leverage in a corner so I could push everything in a little bit more. So I am went ahead and kept it straight. So we're heating up the area. I didn't wear my gloves, which I should have. Let's see if we got this heated enough. I usually look, I, I couldn't find a smaller stick. I want a shorter stick, but this will still do. I'm just trying to make sure I don't hit the camera. Let's move it a little bit. You can see how malleable it became. I mean, is this bare, is this pushing off really nice and quick? You actually, I'm actually stretching. Let's see if I get lower. I'm actually stretching that plastic really easy as you can see. So, like I said, some people will recommend spray bottle with the water to kind of hold it, like freeze it or 
cool it down. I'll hold it for a minute. Let's see what it does. See? So you can see now I got that cool indentation on it. It's just pure cosmetics, but you still want to keep the fender liner to protect your truck from rocks and gaining uh, corrosion. But you can see this might be doing that real quick. It's still pretty warm, but it's it's cooling down. It's kind of molded to that spot. That's how you would use a heat gun. And then you just rub right there. You can actually see two lines right there. So I'm gonna manipulate that a little bit, see if I can do anything. Alright, let's see if that's enough heat. Let's get that stick in there. Yep, it's starting to already indent. You can see how it's indented already. Let's indent that. Always have cars passing by. Cool it down. And you can see I made it go in right here. And you know, it's just, no one will ever notice that you indented it. So that's basically it, how you're gonna use a heat gun to fix your rubbing. You need some kind of stick or screwdriver or something to manipulate it. A water bottle, whether or not full with alcohol or just pure water. And the most important thing, the heat gun. I love this thing. I can use it for a lot of other things. And uh, it was like 10 bucks through Harbor Freight. So it's a really good bang for the buck on this. So um, if you don't have a Harbor Freight, I'll look on Amazon, see if there's any uh, deals for a heat gun for you guys. I mean, you don't need a high quality heat gun unless you're gonna be using a heat gun literally every day. I wanna say again, thanks for liking and subscribing. Please tell your friends about this channel to help me grow a little bit more. I do appreciate it. And stay tuned for more, guys. See you guys soon, okay? Another one.